on the the little journal that I started from the Reader's Digest condensed version book and using the binder rings, these oops, Tim Holtz binder rings inside it. So I use seam binding through the this layer on the back cover to tie around and just be a closure for the book because if it did get fat enough it would probably need something to close it. Still haven't decided on any kind of little embellishment for the front but I like what it looks like so far. This was a printed vellum piece that I had from years ago and I actually like the way that once I adhered it, it kind of buckled up and it makes it look like an old piece of something instead of something that I actually printed. So when the book opens up, because I wanted to line and cover up that stark reddish orange color, I put pockets just to kind of break up some of this color some. And then I've done some different little die cuts. This is one of the little coin envelopes and stuck in that pocket. And then just some random pages made from all sorts of things that I just wanted to include in the book. This is a pocket because I just decided to fold this piece of cardstock over instead of cutting it off because it was almost perfect scrap piece. Here I took the leftover piece of the lining paper and just folded it and made a pocket and then I made a little tag to go in the pocket of it. And I like to use in some of the more neutral colored papers. Here I used some more of the scraps and made a little pocket and then this is one of those little bag dies. So I, I made one of those to go in that pocket. And then these are just some random book pages from some of the other books that I've taken apart. And then some songbook page from an old hymnal. And some lined paper and then just solid cardstock pieces. This was out of one of the Winnie the Pooh books that I took apart. And I just thought the little tree line was so cute. And then the back side had the little tigger. But this could be covered up or just left like it was. But I like the little tigger and Pooh. I made some file card pages. Here I took some of the cardstock, it's, it's actually just a double-sided patterned paper, and covered an envelope to make a pocket from, and then I did some file folder dies to go in it, but what I did is I put my folded edge of the cardstock inside the cut line so that it actually gave me an actual little file folder instead of just the one single piece. And then just various cardstock. Uh, this was a piece out of a book, and I wanted to use both sections of the page. So this is half of it, and then the other half is coming up in the book because it was just too cute not to, to use. And I like the birds. And this was out of the little kitten book that I had taken apart. Here's another one of my little envelope dies. And I just did it out of the, the two-sided patterned paper. And I did this one to tuck in that pocket there. And more lined paper. This is the other half of the sheet out of the little children's bird book. And I just thought that was such a pretty page just to leave it like it was. Another file folder and another pocket page made from an envelope covered with the patterned paper. And another songbook page, another piece, another file card. This one, this was the bottom half of the the poo page with the trees, but I just thought this was so cute, and so I decided to make a pocket, and then I made a bigger tag, and then just stamped the back of it to go in this particular pocket page. And then on the back, the back cover is the same as the front. It has the pocket, and then I used my leftover piece of this blue cardstock that had these little white flecks, and another patterned paper, and then stamped the lines, and did just just a, a little journaling, journaling booklet that could go inside the, the back cover. And that's what I've done to it so far.